The John Hancock Balance Fund seeks to achieve consistent total return over a full market cycle driven by fundamental bottom-up security selection, top-down macro insights, in addition to holistic risk management. On the equity side of the portfolio, as we're working through a name, we're trying to identify why do we want to own a stock, what's going to unlock the discount to the intrinsic value, and then ultimately, what is the stock worth? For a stock to make its way into the portfolio, it has to have a margin of safety in the business, a margin of safety in valuation, and there has to be at least one company-specific catalyst. Margin of safety in the business, we're looking for companies that have dominant market shares, high barriers to entry. Margin of safety in the valuation, we're looking for companies trading below the replacement cost of their assets or that are highly recurring free cash flow generative type business. And then catalysts, they can be anything, they just have to be company specific in nature and they provide the roadmap for unlocking the discount to the intrinsic value. On the fixed income side of the portfolio, we try to generate alpha through security sector positioning in addition to yield curve positioning. We don't tend to make big calls on duration. The asset allocation decision within the portfolio, this is not based on an opaque quant model. It's really, we view it as being a blend of art and science. The science is the fundamental security selection uh, in addition to our macro insights, such as where are market multiples, where are market rates, and then ultimately what are central banks doing. And then the art is really bringing together all of those inputs and determining our asset allocation decision within the portfolio within a risk framework that we can get comfortable with. So as I've walked you through on the John Hancock Balance Fund, we feel that this is a solid foundation for a, total, a consistent total return profile and we try to add alpha through every decision that we make in the portfolio. That includes the equity portfolio, the fixed income side of the portfolio, in addition to the asset allocation decision.